everyone, welcome to Frock Up Friday. We're trialing a new um, tie. Well, I'm just like, wow, that light. <laughs> I've got to try and get the camera to sort itself out now because it's going to go haywire. There we go. If I flick my hair, apparently the uh, lighting will come back to where it's meant to be. Oh, it's so odd. I might have to stand back a little bit further, I think. Um, we're trialing a new time for Frock Up Friday. So it's 7 p.m. Australian Central Time at the moment, 7.30 in the Eastern States. We used to do this at 8 p.m. Um, and we're just trialing things a little bit to see what time works best for everyone. So welcome to the new earlier time slot. Um, and tonight we are styling a super classic that a lot of people would have in their wardrobe. Um, and if not, why not? <laughs> um, the leather mini skirt. So this is the Elka Collective Carry Leather Skirt. We've got this in navy or black. I've got them both here actually. I'm not sure how easy it is to see them against each other if I step back maybe. Honestly, the colour difference is almost negligible. We struggle to tell the difference between the two colours in the store and we always have to check the tag when someone orders one and <laughs> send them the right side, uh, right color so that's how close they are in color so honestly when you're wearing an outfit that navy would go better with or um or black would go better with and you've only got one of these generally you can get away sorry someone was just calling <laughs> that's the first time in over a year that we've been doing um the frock up friday that anyone's called in the middle of it so i think we've done quite well to get away with it for that long um, but as I was saying, colour difference is basically negligible. I would never encourage anyone to buy both of these. Often I know it's quite tempting when something comes in a couple of, especially staple colours, and you're like, oh, I wear navies and things sometimes, and I wear blacks and whites sometimes, so maybe I need both colours. Generally with this skirt, you don't. It's almost impossible to tell the difference between the two colours. Um, so that's what makes it a pretty excellent buy. You definitely don't need both colours. Now in terms of fit these are a really comfy slightly a-line fit you can see how it flares out a little bit um, past the hip and thighs meaning it's quite an easy fit it is quite fitted through the waist and that can sometimes make it a little bit difficult to get up over your bottom um, so I'm wearing the eight in this tonight and you can see I do have a fair bit of space in the waist but it's nice like it's doesn't look silly when I'm wearing it and it's not digging into my skin. So I could definitely wear the six in this if I wanted to, um, or I could wear the eight. Most people will find they can probably wear their normal size. Um, so I'm a, I'm a size six to eight, and I'm carrying a bit of extra COVID weight at the moment. So I'm probably leaning closer to the eight through the hip area, not necessarily through the waist. So my best bet at the moment would probably be the eight. Um, so if you are in between sizes, you generally will be able to get into your regular size, um, but going up a size will just give you a little bit more comfort and definitely will make it easier to get up and over the bottom. <laughs> that was definitely my problem tonight. So yeah, uh, that's, that's my size advice for you. They are a nice, easy fit. Um, and they are a beautiful quality leather. This is one of the things we love about Elka Collective. Their leather quality is absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal, And I love that they use a really beautiful pebbled leather. So it's got that super, super natural leather look to it. And they are genuine leather. Um, so these are just beautiful, really beautiful quality. Most of, we've been carrying this brand for a really long time and their leathers are a staple of their collection. And most of the girls in the store have had these for it, up to four years now, I think, same as our leather jackets, and they're still going strong. They soften up beautifully with age. If you treat them well, they'll treat you well. They're such a beautiful investment. So I absolutely love these. And I just thought I'd jump on and give people a few different ideas on styling them. And so this is no different too. We did leather joggers last week, and pretty much anything from the leather jogger video is going to go with the leather skirt. Um, so I won't spend too much time running through all of the different styles. What I'm going to do is actually style up some outfits for you head to toe. A lot of times with these styling videos, I've normally got one or two pairs of shoes out here and I just make do with what I've got because it's more about showing you all of the versatility of the garment. So casual, dressy, casual, casual, sporty, sports luxe, dressy, um, maybe some layering, maybe some tonal, just different, different ways of styling it, but not necessarily like a fully styled look. So tonight I've brought out a lot more stock um, and a lot more shoe 
options so that we can really style some of these up a little bit and really get some of your creative juices flowing. So instead of just me showing you a few basic ideas, I'm going to really like really just throw some stuff together and see whether that gets your brain firing and sparking and you going like, oh yeah, I would do it with this or that in my wardrobe or I love the way she's clashed those prints or whatever. I could do that with a few things I have. So this is like a real brainstorming session and I'm hoping we'll get people's creative juices flowing and they'll be really inspired to just go crazy with these skirts. So as per usual, um, we will, I, will, I will go through the full versatility, just not in heaps of detail. So as you can see, I've got a sneaker on tonight. I'm actually wearing a high top sneaker because my um, normal white ones were just way too dirty for me to put on camera. They were actually embarrassing and I need to clean them. So I've got a high top sneaker on tonight. A normal sneaker will work perfectly as well. There's no difference between the two with a skirt. You can definitely get away with a high top as well. Um, I always just lean towards a basic white sneaker because it literally goes with everything. Um, so the fact that I'm wearing a high top with these actually is a little bit harder to style um, and so if anywhere where you see me wearing a high top white sneaker tonight you can definitely go for a, a low line normal sneaker and no problem and they're gonna look fantastic so I've just got a basic t-shirt this everyone knows this one this is the rainbow room t-shirt um, I love this t-shirt I actually have two of them now because I'm terrified that one day I might because once they're gone they're gone and I'm terrified that one day I might ruin it so I bought a second one <laughs> sometimes if you love something you love it right so I'm not going to make any apologies for that so I am wearing my favorite rainbow room tee a pair of white sneakers and boom, job done. So this is like an easy weekender, uh, just something super easy to throw on. I also love um, the, like the casual sneaker look with a sweater or a jumper. So absolutely loving the new Ginger and Smart Generation jumper. This is actually a really cool, I'll throw it on so you can see it. Um, this is a really cool design. So Ginger and Smart are quite sustainable and ethical in their approaches to um, the way they participate in the Australian fashion industry. And they're quite, they're leaders in this space and it's really inspirational and they do deserve our support for this. So there is a bit of a story behind this and I can't remember the whole story. So I'll just tell you what I take away from it because these sorts of things are really all about what it means to you. Uh, it's got these cool zippers up the side. So I'm wearing a small in this. Um, it's got the zippers up the side so you can just wear it open like that um, and you've got your cool zippers. Looks great with like jeans, the leather joggers, everything looks great. I am a big fan of a front tuck for these particular skirts and even with the zippers undone, you can do them back up if you want to, um, but even with the zippers undone, you can still manage a front tuck. So that's a, and I kind of actually really like all of the extra shape that this has. I love the motif here um, and a sweater, White sneakers, leather skirt, job done. Um, but I really love this print here. Oh, you can't see it because the light's shining on it. If I stand back a little bit and stand to the side maybe. But anyway, it's um, foil metallic, which is awesome. I love metallics with leather. It's always a really nice play on textures and tones. Um, but it's kind of, it looks at first glance like a fingerprint, but it's actually um, like the inside of a tree trunk. Um, and I think that's for me, uh, the fact that the human eye picks up that it's like a fingerprint and it's about us and then it's bringing us back to our center and going, actually guys, this is, this is life. This is what it's all about. Without this, this doesn't exist. So I really love that. And I love that Ginger and Smart give us those environmental messages with their um, fashion and also in the way that they do business. So love, love, love them. They are definitely worth our support. And I really love this big gold motif here, casual jumper. Um, this is just an, a really easy, fun, casual look. So um, probably not the reason you would buy a leather skirt, but if you're investing the money in a leather skirt and know that you can then wear it so easily for casual as well, that's one of the best things about these pieces of clothing. And um, pretty much everything we bring into our store, you can do all of those things with. That's what we're about. Buy well, buy once get maximum money out of it, make sure that all the resources, natural and non-natural that went into making it for you, go to good use. So getting the most out of it. So I absolutely love t-shirts and sneakers and uh, sweaters and sneakers for a casual vibe. I'm a big, big fan of knits with leather as well. We were talking about that last week, 
um, when we were talking about the leather jogger and playing with t um, textures and tones and how it tricks the human eye into thinking it's really well styled, which of course it is, but it's just the, the fact that as an eye scans, it picks up on all the different textures that are jumping out at it um, and starts to really notice them, notice the way it's been put together um, and it uh, comes across really, really well styled. This is one of my favourite jumpers, the po Camilla Poetic Anarchy um, jumper. This one's actually on sale now um, and I adore this. I wear it with everything. It's just so great to tuck into absolutely everything. So again, another fun look, just sneakers and a knit is perfect. Um, but then again, you can easily start to funk some of these up with pairs of heels. So I might just do that for you now. I'm just trying to think, is it? Anything else before I take these shoes off? <laughs> I think I was going to do, what's under here? There's a lot to play with out here today, guys. Um, no, that should be about right, I think. Um, or maybe I was going to show you another look. I'll try, I'll throw this jumper on in a second. Um, I think I was going to show you the sweater look with a puffer as well. Because it is winter and we are needing extra layers. So I'll throw the sweater back on while I've got the sneakers on because it is a casual look that I'm going to show you and then I'm going to go for a slightly dressier look with it as well. So we've got our sweater on and the Camilla Abingdon Palace puffer, um, hooded puffer jacket. So this is the shorter version. Um, I love these colours together and this sweater together. I think it's a really cool little combo. Um, and I really, really love this whole outfit together. It's uh, real fun. So just trying to fix my hair so that when you guys do your screenshots, I don't look completely dishevelled, which happens a lot on these styling videos. So I'm loving this look. Really cool, casual, sweater, puffer, leather skirt, pair of sneakers, good, good fun. Um, and then really easy to start funking that up a little bit as well. So let's throw on a little pair of heels um, and go for more of a, like a dressy casual, something a bit fun. I think for a little bit of fun and playing into the tones in this jacket, I'm gonna go for the leopard heel, but a black would do just as well. Now this is just starting to get a little bit more fun. I love a play on casuals, like we've definitely just got a casual sweater on under here. We've got a puffer jacket on. The leather skirt is kind of middle ground, can go either way. So uh, it, like from here to here, you're not quite sure what's going on yet. And then you step back and you can see a really funky little heel and you go, oh, that's kind of like a dressy casual look that I didn't expect, um, but really like. So I'm a big fan of this outfit. Love this puffer. <laughs> this is the first one I've tried. The uh, first time I've tried this one on. I have the other one, so I didn't touch this, so I wouldn't fall in love with it. And now I'm like, oh, I love the navies and the gold. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, lots of fun. This little outfit. I'll just take this little sweater off now. While I've got the leopard heels on, I may as well throw. that knit back on. So I've just got a knit pair of heels. Throw on a little shoulder bag now. This is the Dylan Kane wax bag. Everyone loves this one. This one sells out so quickly. Um, so now we've got kind of a cute little weekend look with a knit, pair of heels, leather skirt, cute little handbag. Now, let's keep moving. There's so much to show you. Let's do a little sports luxe look, shall we? 
think I wanted to go, the other thing you can do is you can definitely do an ankle boot. And I'll just show you that while I've got this t-shirt on because these boots and this t-shirt go so beautifully together. love a cute ankle boot with a leather skirt, um, especially winter is the season for playing with all of our ankle boots, so I absolutely love, love, love to do that, and I'm just going to start to throw um, a few sporty little numbers together um, and see what we come up with, so I'll just pop behind the camera for one second. I'll just start here for now, but this was going to be layer two. So this is the Ping Nation Momentum hooded uh, puffer jacket. So this is a bit like the full court, but they've updated it in this gunmetal grey colour, which I absolutely love. Um, and so again, we're kind of doing, we've done the puffer and sweater look. Now we're doing a t-shirt, puffer, pair of ankle boots. I'm not sure whether you can, I'm hoping you can see the ankle boots there. Um, so that's a bit of a fun little look as well, but I really, really want to layer this up big time and make it super, super sporty so that you can see that a leather skirt can actually be layered with basically active wear. A hoodie is a definite way to uh, just destroy your hair, isn't it? <laughs> so I've thrown on the Ping Nation Momentum hoodie now. Um, I love this hoodie that I've oh, got the tag in the back there, so I'll tuck that in so you can see the print. But how great is this print on the back? Now my hair. How great is this print on the back? I'm absolutely obsessed with that little pop of peach, really cool graphic. Um, so I'm a big, big fan of this hoodie. It's also like a really soft fleece inside. It's just beautiful to wear. It's like wearing a lovely, it's actually, I always say, you know, when I love wearing something, it's, I always say it's like wearing a hug, like when it really engulfs you and it's just amazing. This is better than a hug. This is like one of those baby's fleece um, blankies, you know, the, the little comfort ones that they hold onto. It's like wearing that, it's amazing. So this is just a fun little casual look. Really cool hoodie with a great graphic on the back or the front because you want a little bit of interest. Otherwise, these can tend to look a little bit dull because we are talking great quality, just a leather skirt. And now I've got like a, a dark colored hoodie on top. You, can, you, could, you could easily stuff this one up and it could just look a bit naff. So you've got to be careful with your styling. Um, so. Go, make sure that you've got a great print somewhere or some sort of interest. I'm just doing a little bit of a front tuck here just to add some shape and accentuate that little bit of print here as well. And I love the fact that I'm wearing a high top sneaker with this look, really playing on that sporty look that I've got going on at the moment. So uh, I, think that, I think that in this case, the high top sneaker has actually been a really, really good idea. Um, but again, like a good crisp white sneaker would work just as well. Um, so I'm loving this look. This is now one of my faves too. And then my plan was to layer that up again. I love the Momentum hoodie and the Momentum puffer together. Normally I wouldn't suggest layering charcoal on charcoal, but for whatever reason, this really works. It's one of my favorite combos at the moment. And again, if you're layering up like this, you are gonna be so warm. So there we go. This is another fun little sporty look. I'm a big fan of this one. So much fun. For anyone playing along at home, I am wearing the extra, extra small in the Momentum um, puffer. They are really, really, really jet. Like you can see, there's still a lot of space in here. I've got the big bulky hoodie on underneath um, and yeah, extra, extra small I'm wearing. So yeah, definitely size down at least one size, if not two sizes, if you're not a big fan of like 
lots of bulk and puff and especially if you're intending on only wearing it open i'm an open jacket girl never 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 do i wear any of my jackets done up so um if if you're one of those people as well you can even go down two sizes in this one it really is quite generous and i'm wearing an extra extra small in the hoodie as well but yeah loving this outfit this is fun Whew, it's warm though we had some wild weather in Adelaide just as I was coming on and I was a bit concerned about whether or not you'd be able to hear me. It was that bad outside. It seems to have died off now, which is nice. The other thing you can mix up while I'm wearing a hoodie, because this is also a little bit expected, unexpected, but I know we had this conversation last week about throwing unexpected things together. You've got to do it in a clever way, but it can really sort of elevate your style. If you pull it off, you really pull it off. So everyone knows I'm loving the new Unreal Fur Madame Grace coat. I have adored this from the day we got it, which was only a few weeks ago. We sold out of the new Unreal Fur so quickly and we got a restock yesterday or arrived late the day before. I can't remember. And I made sure that I ordered enough that I could finally order one for myself without feeling like I'm ripping you guys off and stealing stock from you guys. Cause I know how disappointing it would be if like I got the last one or if you'd been hunting for it and there's me swanning around in it. Um, but there's enough for me now and I have not taken it off since it arrived. I'm so stoked I was able to get one of these. This is the exact same style that I bought mine in last year, just a different print. So they've updated it in this serpentine um, type print this year. Um, and I wore my one from last year to death and I still wear it. I've probably worn it maybe 50 times. That's a fair effort for an, an out and outerwear piece of clothing because they're not always appropriate. They're not always weather appropriate. Um, and I swear I've probably worn it about 50 times. So I knew this one was going to be an amazing investment because I know I'm going to get so much wear out of it year after year. So had to have this one, snapped it up. And very, very cool. A very cool look here with a P Nation hoodie, leather skirt, high top sneakers, white sneakers would do, and my faux fur coat. So like I said, definitely, definitely not unhappy with this purchase. <laughs> okay, we've probably done sporty to death now. Let's move on. Let's do some other stuff. Let's do some cool stuff. Not that those weren't cool, but let's, let's, um, Let's get into some of the silks. Let's start clashing some prints. Whew, so many lace, so warm. Okay, what have I got over here? Oh, actually, let's go. We, um, I did have the, um, I need a glass of water. Got one over here. Okay, I did have my knit on before, and like I said, love, love, love knits. Um, so like knitted fabrics, chunky knits with a leather, with any leather piece really. Um, and I'm now going to show you, I will take my shoes off and I'll do this one with heels because this is one of my favorite ways to wear the Camilla um, throwovers. I absolutely adore these, just thrown over, belted, amazing. So I'm just going to switch up the shoes change my t-shirt so i'm still going to go for a t-shirt underneath but like a silk cami in a complimentary print would be just as gorgeous a plain t-shirt of any type would be just as gorgeous because your hero piece really is um this throw over so i'm just going to throw on a plain black heel but an ankle boot a black ankle boot with a heel on it would be great too Just gonna head over here and switch shirts. So I've got another great shirt on here. This is the Camilla Hampton Hive. Uh, sure, you can see it's a beautiful loose fit and a really like soft hand feel fabric. Great for a front tuck, beautiful embellishment leading down to that front tuck. So it's kind of 
drawing your eye to that feature and styling. Nice loose at the back, so we've got a bit of a layering thing happening here. Um, and just looks perfect with a black leather skirt or, or the navy. Like I said, you can't really see the difference. So even, even just this little outfit, I'd be pretty happy with. I love a shoulder bag. There's something about slinging a bag over your shoulder that just elevates a look. So yeah, pretty simple, isn't it? These skirts are just so, so versatile and can make so many great outfits, but that's not what I was going for and not what I was trying to show you. This was just my undergarment. All right, I'm throwing on the Hampton Hive stroll over. These are stunning garments and to match something like this with a piece of leather is just super, super, super luxe because you've got the luxury of leather and then the luxury of these super heavy weight, embellished, beautifully printed Camilla throwovers. These are such a special item to own. I absolutely love mine. Now lots of people just throw them over like this. I like to just play around with the print placement a little bit so that you've got it all in the right places. Um, and a lot of people just throw that over and away you go. And it is pretty great, right? Like I love the way it drapes. It's beautifully cut. It's expertly cut to drape and give all of those different shapes, which is sensational. But this is how I like to wear mine. I like to You can either cross them over depending on um, how, what sort of shape you want, or you can just play around with them a little bit and keep them open. So I'm just gonna do my belt up here and then try and pull my arms free because these are so thick and chunky. It is probably better if you can do your belt up from the front, but this is the one I grabbed. So just slowly inch that around. There we go, I think we've got it, got it at the back. So again, a belted throw, and you can keep that open so you've got a bit of your skirt showing here. Um, but isn't that gorgeous? Look at that drama through the front here, the beautiful rose prints, the embellishment, the way these arms drape now with the belt pulling them in. You can play around with it and pull more arm out or less arm. Uh, you can cross them over. And then you probably, like if you played around with it enough, kind of went kimono style, you wouldn't actually need a top on underneath if you didn't want to. Um, so that looks great as well. But I like it open a little bit more because I am I love the being able to see the skirt underneath. So this is one of my favourite ways to wear the Camilla throwover. It's so glamorous, it's so beautiful and soft and warm. Uh, and it just adds a lot of interest to this outfit with the different shapes that are blowing down. Um, so yes, one of my faves. Just letting you take your screenshots. Um, another cute little girls night outfit, I think. With a pair of heels, great throwover, great skirt, great bag. What more do you need? Okay, moving on. Is there anything else I needed to show you with that? No, I don't think so. So now we're going to move on to a bodysuit. So this I'll, I'll have to go behind camera. Oh, how great does this, the top look? Just That's the beauty of these um, beautiful soft uh, Camilla tees as well. They do drape off the shoulder like that nicely. I probably should flip my hair the other side so that you can see it a bit better. But yeah, that's like a nice fun look as well with one bare shoulder um, and plays beautifully into the playfulness of a leather skirt as well. So I really love this one too. Okay, um, bodysuit. Let's do it. Bodysuit. Fun. I'm just going to pop behind the camera.
Okay, I'm back. Lady Lodge, but whoa, this is amazing. I'm very happy with this. I haven't tried this on together yet, and so it was a little bit of a risk, but I was, I love this. I'm loving this. Okay, I'm gonna pop the leopard heels back on again just for a little bit of a play with tones. Black ones will work just as well. Browns, tans, because you've got all of those beautiful colours in this Lady Lodge bodysuit. I absolutely adore this bodysuit. Oh, it makes me look like, like I've got boobs, which is nice for a change. Um, so, like, this is a pretty simple outfit, but I'm very, very happy with this. <laughs> so, <laughs> I probably wouldn't be unhappy leaving the house looking like this, to be honest. But you know me, I like to style things up a little bit more. And I'm loving the Abingdon Palace um, bum bag. I love these two prints clash together. So if you really wanted to, you could definitely wear it around the waist just for something a little bit fun. I will try it for you, but I haven't actually sized this to suit me. So I'll just hold it there for you. I like to wear them off to the side. Actually, no. I'll do it properly for you because it is so cute. Oh, they're a bit loose, aren't they? Here we go. Probably just tuck that inside my skirt there. This is cute. I'm a fan and I don't even mind it just like being a little bit lopsided like that, a little bit sort of disheveled, not, not purposely positioned. I kind of really like that look. Imagine some big gold drop earrings on at the moment and this outfit. Like how fun is this? I'm obsessed with this. I think I have to buy the whole thing after this. <laughs> So yeah, very, very fun. Loving the play on all the little bits and pieces. I had some of the beanies out here before as well, like some of the gold printed Camilla beanies with this outfit would look super cool as well. Um, so I'm loving this. I also do love a bum bag like slung over the shoulder too. So that's also a lot of fun. Um, but yes, I did have grand plans of styling these together. Just for something really fun, because this is kind of like, oh, girls' night out. Um, and then this is, you know, tight, don't, dialing it down a little bit, maybe for like a Sunday lunch. Um, yes, hello. I'm having a Carrie Bradshaw moment in that um, wardrobe when she went to that amazing apartment with Mr. Big that they were going to buy together. She's like, hello, I live here now. <laughs> That's how I feel in this outfit. Hello, I think I live in this outfit now. <laughs> this is the bomb. I am so happy with this outfit. And this is what it's all about, ladies. If you don't get that exact feeling when you put something together, you're wasting a day of your life. You should wear outfits that make you feel like this every single day of your life. We all deserve to feel like this. We all have to wear clothes. We can't walk around naked outside of our, <clears throat> outside of our homes. So if you have to wear them, make them amazing. Make them spot on. Make them give you that feeling, that glow, that hello, I live here moment. Let's do it. Why not? And hello, I live here. This is amazing. I'm obsessed with this whole dang thing. <laughs> wow, love. Okay, moving on. I think this one's going to be hard to top. And even when you take the puffer off, it's like bodysuit, bum bag, leather skirt. Who thought a leather skirt could do this, ladies? Especially quite a casual plain A-line, but sometimes, especially with your leather goods, plain is good. Like it's gonna last you years and years and years, especially in this quality, especially in this cut. It's not fitted, so you're not gonna be putting pressure on the seams. You can run, bend, move, play with the kids, sit down, and you're not going to be pressuring this garment or destroying this garment in any way. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty spectacular, and you can do lots of amazing things. I'm sure you guys didn't expect when I pulled this out today and I was just standing there in a t-shirt and a pair of white sneakers, I bet you weren't expecting looks like this. And it can do all of these things. It's a brilliant investment and a lot of fun to play with, as you can see, because I'm like 
having a ball here. <laughs> okay, bum bag of my dreams is coming off. <laughs> and we are moving on. Love this bodysuit too. What did I have next? I'm just trying to think, did I have anything else with the bodysuit before I take it off? Because you know, in and out of bodysuits. I don't think so, I think we're moving on and I do have something really cool to show you next. So, moving on. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys know I love, love, love my Camden Moon skirt. My Camilla Camden Moon skirt. Love this dark, moody print with really fun um, blue play on animal print in it. It's very, very clever. And I'm a ruffles girl. I love frills. I love ruffles, especially when they're done in these dark, moody colours because they're not too fro fro and in your face. If this was in pinks, then it could get a bit much for a lot of people, I think. But because it's in dark, moody blues and blacks with splices of animal print through it, the ruffles are just enough, if you ask me. So what I've done is I've just front tucked my Camden Moon Maxi skirt into this leather skirt. I've got it draping and billowing. Look at that. Like, that is just divine. Do I have my tag hanging out? No, I don't for once. I've always got my tags hanging out. Um, so, this is just stunning. Like, watch me as I walk, ladies. Like, this is just spectacular, right? Just tucked into my simple leather skirt. I love that we've got this simplicity here and then all of this going on here. I've just got a simple pair of black heels on um, and I just adore this. I would just throw Dylan Kane wax bag, double the handles over for a bit more of a dressy look. So if you were going out with the girls, this would be a perfect little girls night outfit. Um, or toss it over the shoulder as well. So this is a really fun outfit too. Um, and I'm wearing two skirts, believe it or not. So this is one of the things you can do when you've got these sorts of items in your wardrobe, having to play with them and getting so much bang for your buck, combining these two skirts together and you've got an amazing outfit. I also really, really love this outfit. Um, if you, so this is like, we're wearing heels, we're getting dressy, it's strapless, so it's quite a dressy look already. I love it with these two. I wear my Camden Moon skirt with these boots all the time, the Senso Latoya boots. It's just a really fun play. And because that's, can you see that? I'm not sure you can. Uh, take the heels off, pop the fun animal print ankle, ankle boots on, and maybe throw a denim jacket over or something like that. And you've got more of a Sunday afternoon outfit. So this outfit can do so many different things just by changing up your accessories. 
um, and the way you accessorize it, I guess. So love that. So that this is one of my favorite little outfits with this skirt too. Um, and then I've only really got one last thing to show you, um, which is of course going to be my caftan tuck. You know I love caftans, I adore them, I wear them with everything and I never wear them just as is generally. Um, I'm always tucking them into things and uh, it's one of my favorite ways to wear them. So I'm gonna throw one of my favorite caftans on and we'll give that a little whirl. Okay, I've got one of my favorite caftans on. This is the Swinging 60s caftan. I absolutely adore all of the colors in this print. Just this beautiful play on Pays leaves, but with some brightness to it. So you really can't have a shitty day in this caftan, I promise. <laughs> it's amazing. It just really lifts your mood. So this look is one of my faves. Again, you're, you can see by nearly everything I've done tonight, I'm a big fan of the front tuck. And this skirt is just the best thing for a front tuck. It just seems to really work for it. So all I've done is I've slipped my caftan on. I'm wearing it just as is full sleeve and I front tucked in here and allowed the rest of the fabric of the caftan to billow down the sides and create that beautiful high low hem and really give it a bit of drama out the back here. Sorry, I was trying to do a turn there and nearly fell over. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I'm just trying to show you how it, the movement that you get through this when you do that front tuck and leave that beautiful fabric billowing down and a nice big caftan sleeve. This is what they're designed to do. They just, they create these beautiful shapes. So I absolutely love this. And obviously with a caftan, you can drop it off the shoulder. Uh, you could wear it one shoulder, you could wear it strapless. Um, heaps of great thing. In fact, I'll show you how to do that one. We just saw a little bit of that sort of look with the, um, I'll probably have to pop behind the camera, maybe. Um, we saw a little bit of that look with the Camden Moon skirt. Yeah, my, oh no, here we go. Got it. Always try and be careful with the caftan neck holes. Some are bigger than others. This one is really quite big, so I would have to do my little bra tuck and create that sweetheart neckline with my bra, just so it doesn't fall down. Um, and there's a little bit more fabric there now to play with. So you can, how fun is that? Another really great outfit. So many different ways to wear these fabulous caftans. Um, and this, these leather skirts are such a great compliment to you and then just give so many extra different styling options for the classic caftan as well. So there you go. I hope I've given you heaps of ideas tonight, ladies. I'm a big fan of these skirts. I'm a big fan of all of the items I've styled it with. I've shown you t-shirts and sneakers, the sports luxe look, which I was really enjoying. I was loving layering up those hoodies and the puffer jackets, um, the unreal fur coats, pretty much all of those go with um, these skirts as well. Cause these skirts are just so easy to style with. Um, so any of the colors in the unreal fur, what's going on with my hair? It always does this when we're doing these styling sessions. Um, any of the colors of the Unreal Fair are just going to match so beautifully. And you can just go a classic white or black tee, a great Unreal Fair jacket, and these skirts with sneakers or heels or an ankle boot or over the knee boots. Um, then you can really start to play with your colors, prints, textures, um, especially your knits and your silks. Um, as you saw, the silks are just like stand out, amazing. Um, the bodysuit was smashing with this skirt. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Um, and I think all of the Abingdon Palace pieces and Lady Lodge just go so beautifully together. Um, I'm, I'm obsessed. I can't really choose a favorite outfit from tonight. There's a couple of key standouts for me. Um, but yeah, just these skirts, 
phenomenal, right? And a really great investment. So I hope I've given you heaps of different ideas on how to style them. I know that just a plain black or navy skirt can look a bit bland on a hanger or on a website staring back at you. Um, so I wanted to jump on here and just go sky's the limit with these ones, guys. They are so, so versatile, really inoffensive. So you can't really stuff them up. They just work with everything that you'll try and throw them together with. Um, so yeah. A really really good investment I think um, and as always there's a special little discount that I will be um, activating as soon as we get off from here so we've got 10% off the Elka collective leather skirts tonight um, using code friends of Courtney all one word all capital letters um, uh, so that's 10% off the black or the navy Elka Collective skirt that I have on here um, called the Carrie Leather Skirt or um, one of the colours is called the Zurich leather, leather Skirt. I think they had a name change at some point. Um, or if you buy the skirt and any one of the garments that I've shown you here tonight, use code FRIENDSOFCOURTNEY20, all one word, all capital letters, and you'll get 20% off your whole order um, for buying the skirt and any of the pieces that you saw me style it with here tonight. So I'll be activating that in a second when I get off and the code will be active for three hours only um, as a special little reward for you ladies to jump on um, and spend your Friday night with me. So I hope you've had fun. Um, I hope everyone who's in lockdowns or hard restrictions at the moment is staying safe, um, taking care of your mental health, take, taking care of those around you, reaching out, social media phone calls zoom stay in touch however you can it's really important please know that we're all thinking of you and we're all doing the right thing as well even those states that aren't in hard restrictions or lockdowns are trying to do the right thing there's lots of people walking around in Adelaide wearing masks um, and lots of people choosing to stay home working from home um, dropping back to meetings via zoom and things just because we really want to help our country get on top of this latest outbreak as well so that all of you can join us out of lockdown soon. So, And we're going to keep doing a lot of these little live styling sessions um, while these lockdowns are on uh, just to give people things to do, something to look at, something to scroll through. If you can't make a live, um, at least it'll be there on the feed for you to check out later on. So we know social media does become really important during these lockdowns and restrictions. It's a way of connecting and uh, a way of feeding feeding our brains with new information as well, which is always awesome too. So have a brilliant Friday night, guys. Enjoy your weekend, stay safe, um, and enjoy these beautiful skirts and all these great pieces that I've shown you tonight. Mwah. Bye, guys.